Bed bugs can turn up anywhere. They've been found in fancy hotels, student dorms, and many people's homes all over the world. Bed bugs don't care where they live as long as they can get what they need, blood. If you discover bed bugs, your first instinct might be to treat your home, yourself, or your bed with chemical pesticides, but this is not the best course. Here are several reasons why. Many pesticide products, especially foggers or bug bombs, do not get rid of bed bugs. There are many reasons why, but the main one is that bed bugs are good at escaping contact with the pesticide. This is especially true in apartment buildings, where your apartment likely shares a wall, a floor, or a ceiling with someone else's apartment. Using a fogger in your apartment will simply encourage the bed bugs to spread out to other areas, such as neighboring apartments. When this happens, you create a problem for your neighbors, and you likely make your own problem worse. Pesticides are also poisonous and can create risks for you, your family, your pets, and your neighbors. In fact, Many accidental poisonings have occurred as a result of people applying pesticides and other chemicals to their beds, their homes, and even their bodies in desperate attempts to get rid of bed bugs. Not only is it good to avoid using pesticides, but it's important that you not try to use other chemicals that you may have around your home, such as rubbing alcohol, chlorine, or fuels like gasoline or kerosene. These chemicals will not get rid of your infestation, but they will create a serious risk for fire and injury. People have caused serious harm to themselves and their homes by using these chemicals to fight bed bugs. Fortunately, there are many safe things you can do to help prevent and manage bed bug problems. First, it's important that you're able to identify a bed bug. Bed bugs can be seen with the naked eye. Adult bed bugs are small and reddish brown in color, about the size of an apple seed. They become rounder and darker in color after feeding. Young bed bugs, or nymphs, are much lighter in color and may be harder to see until they've had their first blood meal. Bed bug eggs are small, white, and oval in shape and slightly smaller than a grain of rice. Bed bugs are great at hiding. You're most likely to find them on or in the mattress, the box spring, or the headboard, and other items around your bed. They like to hide in cracks and crevices drill holes, and other tight spaces. In fact, bed bugs can fit into spaces as thin as a credit card. There are many other places where bed bugs commonly hide, such as along the edges of your carpeting or behind the baseboard molding at the bottom of your wall. They can also live inside of electrical appliances near your bed or behind electrical faceplates. In fact, if your infestation is bad enough, you may even find bed bugs living in your clothes. Bed bugs can live literally anywhere that offers them an opportunity to feed. In other words, places where you spend most of your time. If you have a favorite chair or another piece of furniture that you use frequently, be sure to inspect that area for bed bugs. If you don't find live bed bugs when inspecting, look for other signs that bed bugs may be present, such as dead bed bugs shed bed bug skins, and bed bug droppings. Bed bug droppings are small dark spots resembling rust or mildew that can be found along the seams of mattresses and furniture or in any areas where bed bugs are present. A flashlight or a magnifying glass can be helpful when searching for these stains. If you wake up in the morning with itchy red bites that you didn't have the night before, this is also probably a sign that you have bed bugs. While not everyone reacts to bed bug bites, the chances are, if you've been bitten, you'll notice an itchy red whelp resembling a mosquito bite. If this occurs, wash the bites with soap and water and try not to scratch. It's also important not to panic. Bed bugs don't carry diseases, so they can't make people sick by biting them. In fact, bed bugs represent less of a health risk to people than most of the pesticide products designed to kill them. Once you've confirmed that you do have a bed bug problem, you'll want to act quickly. Bed bugs multiply rapidly, so they become much more difficult and much more expensive to get rid of the longer you wait. If you live in an apartment, the first thing you'll want to do is contact your property manager and ask for assistance. As mentioned earlier, 
Bedbugs can travel easily from apartment to apartment through wall voids and other conduits, so the chances are, if you have bedbugs, someone else in your building does as well. Your property manager will likely employ a professional to provide pest management services, and it's important to check with them that whoever they use practices good integrated pest management. Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, is a smart combination of approaches that aims to solve the root causes of pest problems. It doesn't simply mean spraying pesticides. Pesticides on their own will not ultimately solve your bedbug problem. If possible, speak with your property manager and the pest management professional and ask them to describe in detail their plan for treatment. The plan should include multiple strategies, including regular inspections, setting up traps and monitors, and also eliminating harborage by reducing clutter so that bedbugs have fewer places to hide. This last point is perhaps the most important, and it's where you can make the biggest difference. There are certain things to consider when eliminating clutter or removing infested items from your apartment. You'll want to take any and all steps to avoid transporting bedbugs to other parts of your building. When removing bedding or other fabric items to the trash or the washing machine, carry it inside of a sealed plastic bag. Once the bag is empty, throw it away in an outside trash bin. There could still be bugs or eggs present in the bag, and you want to avoid bringing them back into your apartment. When washing your items, be sure to use hot water. And when drying, use the highest heat setting available. Once your clothes are dry, Continue to dry them for an additional 40 minutes to kill any remaining bugs or eggs. Once you've laundered your items, consider storing them in a sealed plastic bag or a sealable plastic container until you've dealt with the rest of your apartment. This will prevent them from becoming reinfested. When discarding other contaminated items, place them in sealed plastic bags and mark them as contaminated with bed bugs. This will prevent people from recovering the items and bringing them back into the building. If you're getting rid of a larger item like a mattress or a piece of furniture, mark it in some way to indicate that it is infested and consider damaging it by slashing the cushions or otherwise making it undesirable. Small items that you wish to keep can be sealed in a plastic bag and then placed in the freezer for at least five days. You may want to store items for even longer as current research shows that freezer storage is not always 100% effective. If your infestation is severe, or if you have many large items that you don't wish to get rid of, heat treatment can be one very effective way to manage bed bugs. Different research recommends different temperatures and different exposure times in order to achieve effective control, and special equipment is needed to perform heat treatments. For those reasons, don't attempt to perform a heat treatment on your own. Ask your property manager to hire a pest control professional that offers heat treatment as a part of their IPM program. Another very important step to take is to vacuum your apartment. Vacuum all floors, carpets, and baseboards, and if you have a pipe attachment, use that to remove bed bugs from hard to reach areas. A nylon stocking can be placed over the end of your pipe attachment to help prevent your vacuum from becoming infested. Be sure to vacuum thoroughly along your mattress, focusing on the seams and piping. Be sure also to vacuum any other furniture that may be infested, with special attention to creases, cracks, and crevices. Afterward, empty the contents of the vacuum into an outside trash bin along with the nylon stocking. After vacuuming your bed, it's good to place your mattress and even your box spring inside of protective bed bug proof covers. Ask your property manager if they can help provide this for you and make sure that you're using a cover that's specifically designed for bed bug control. Covers designed for other purposes may not be sufficient to control bed bugs. Protective covers are considered effective for up to two years unless they become torn, in which case they need to be replaced. Once you think you've eliminated your bed bug problem, it's good to continue with regular monitoring and inspections just to make sure that nothing was overlooked. It only takes one pregnant female to
to produce a whole new infestation of bedbugs. One great way to monitor for bedbugs is to install bedbug traps under each leg of your bed. Simply move your bed away from the wall, place a trap under each leg, and ensure that no other part of your bed is touching the ground. This way, the bugs will have to crawl through the trap in order to reach you. You can also make an active bed bug monitor using dry ice and several other easy to acquire materials. Developed by researchers at Rutgers University, this monitor will actually attract any bed bugs that are present. For detailed instructions on how to set this up, see our video on YouTube called How to Make a Bed Bug Trap. Once your home is bed bug free, you'll want to keep it that way. Here are some further tips to help avoid bringing bed bugs back into your home. Don't bring home mattresses, furniture, or clothing that appear to have been discarded. These items could be infested with bed bugs. When buying used furniture, particularly mattresses or anything that's upholstered, check for the signs of infestation mentioned earlier, including bed bugs, bed bug skins, and bed bug droppings. When bringing new or used fabric items into your home, launder them according to the washing and drying instructions detailed earlier in this video. Remember to wash with hot water, and when drying, continue to dry the fabrics for an additional 40 minutes after they appear dry. This will help to kill any bed bugs and bed bug eggs that are present on the fabrics. When visiting other people's homes or even hotel rooms, avoid placing your clothing, luggage, or other personal items on top of bedding or upholstered furniture. Instead, use luggage racks or place your items on top of slick surfaces like countertops or even the bathtub. This will help reduce the chances of bringing any bed bugs with you as you return home. For more information, see NCAP's other videos at youtube.com slash NCAPvids. For helpful articles and fact sheets on alternatives to pesticides, see our websites at pesticide.org and sustainableplaces.org.